Defining a type alias can be very useful in various different scenarios. It allows you to alias one particular type to another name type. So let's assume we have an, a user class here and it has a username and perhaps an auth token. And perhaps the account class also has an auth token that is needed to, re to request an account, to request the account details. And for whatever reason, there is a order class and it also requires an auth token as well. And it's a string. Now, eventually you start finding yourself having the word auth token all over your entire application and realize that that could be a problem. Well, one thing you can do is actually type alias auth token into its own type or maybe you can create your own type. So you could do that too. You could say something like this, data class, auth token. And what it is, is it just contains a token that's a string. And then you could start replacing this with auth token. But then inside of your, inside of your, you know, any of your providers or anything else that's inside of your system that's, you wanna treat it like a string. Well, now you have to treat it like an object and it's kind of a pain, but you would just love to be able to call it auth token because it would just make much more sense when you're reasoning about your application. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back as string. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. What you can do is actually perform a type alias. And here's how you can do that. What you can do is usually I prefer to type these at the top of a file or in some type of, you know, common extensions area inside of my application. So I might have a file called extensions.kt and I'll say type alias. And then what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna, I wanna type alias the word account token, excuse me, auth token to equal a string. And what that means now is I can use the word auth token anywhere. So this is also a string. This is also an auth token. But now it's much easier for me to reason about because now if I'm going to use my user class user dot auth token, I can see that it's an auth token type and then it actually gives me a hint here saying, hey, that is actually a string behind the scenes. And so I can say auth token and then again, I still have all the same operations that I would have on a string like length and so forth. But now it allows me to have much more meaning directly inside of my application. So if I'm creating a new, a new order, a new order is going to take an auth token. So instead of it taking a string, it's an auth token. And so I could do one thing, I could actually provide the auth token, I say user.auth token, that'll work. Or if I just have a string, because auth tokens are strings, I say my auth token. And this will also work too, because underneath the hood, Kotlin knows that a auth token is a string. However, just for you know usability and type systems inside of your application, it makes it a lot easier sometimes with various different values to use type aliasing so you can actually get the actual types that you like without actually having to create a brand new one because maybe that auth token is just a string but you would just like to have it have its own type and you can do that with type aliases and it's very easy to do just set type alias what you want to call a type alias equals whatever the type is